In season 3 of Star Trek, Picard, Geordi LaForge was made a Commodore, and the foundation for his future leadership was laid early in TNG. The ultimate elevation of Velti, Geordi LaForge lay Varburton, do Commodore in Star Trek. Picard season 3 seemed inevitable because of Star Trek, the next generation. Geordi served as a bridge officer before did taking over as chief engineer of the USS Enterprise D. In TNG season 1, he often took the helm alongside Delty. Commander Data, Brent Spiner, in the first season of TNG, a lot of the performers and characters were still figuring things out, and Geordi's role aboard the Enterprise wasn't quite clear. But as a bridge officer, Lawforge often found himself in charge of the Enterprise when the other senior officers, including Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart, were out on assignment. In the Arsenal of Freedom, the 21st episode of Star Trek, Season 1, Helty, Jordi Lawforge faces his biggest challenge as a captain. Captain Picard joins the away crew to evaluate the situation when Commander William Riker, Jonathan Frakes, is rendered unable while on an away mission on the planet Minos, with Data, Riker, and Picard all dead on the planet. Jordi assumes command of the Enterprise. Many of the automated weapons on the planet are still in use, and Minos had a reputation for exporting cutting-edge weaponry systems years before. Jordi has to protect the Enterprise from an unseen weapon that tracks the Enterprise's every move as the away crew battles drones on the planet. As the commander of the Enterprise D, Jordi must deal with a chief engineer who is arrogant and believes he is superior, in addition to an opponent who seems to be invincible. Logan Vito Ruginus, the chief engineer of the week, challenges Jordi's conduct. LaForge remains firm and reminds Logan that he was placed in charge by Picard. Counselor D. Anna Troy, Marina Sirtis, in response to LaForge's concerns about his leadership skills, gives advice urging him to support and have faith in the officers who report to him. Throughout the whole situation, Jordi maintains his composure and eventually finds the answer that allows the ship to be saved. Jordi's strategy ultimately works, and the ensigns under his leadership provide outstanding performances, partly because of his faith in them. Jordi demonstrates his leadership and starship commanding abilities throughout the arsenal of freedom on Star Trek, The Next Generation. It's unfortunate that he wasn't given more opportunities to lead the Enterprise D. Nevertheless, Jordi's leadership of the Enterprise during TNG demonstrates why he rose through the ranks and by Star Trek. Picard had attained the rank of Commodore. LaForge orders the Enterprise's saucer portion to split apart during the battle in order to save the lives of the onboard citizens while he uses the drive section of the ship to take down the enemy. There are only four instances in all of Star Trek and its motion pictures that the Enterprise-D successfully separates its saucer. Jordi joins the Enterprise-D as chief engineer after season one of Star Trek, The Next Generation, and he stays in this role for the next six seasons. Despite being able to participate more in several of the show's plots as a result of this elevation, Jordi was no longer able to command the Enterprise. Commodore Jordi LaForge gives his old companions the USS Enterprise D, which he has been working on for years, in Season 3 of Star Trek, Picard. As the Starfleet Museum's curator, Jordi had complete access to all the tools required to revitalize the aging vessel.